little on top and big in the middle and pink all over. The answer to the riddle is my friend Serendipity, the pink dinosaur. Serendipity do, serendipity be. Wow, what a wonderful world we'd have if we all could be. Loving and caring, giving and sharing, like my Oceanographic vessel, the Caprice, steams into the frigid waters of Antarctica. On board is a young boy named Bobby. Because his parents are marine biologists, Bobby has been lucky enough to travel on the Caprice to some very interesting places. This, however, is his first trip inside the Antarctic Circle. What a beautiful place. Isn't this a beautiful place? I'm so glad that we brought Bobby with us. It's amazing to think that you could live your whole life and never get to see the magnificence of this place. Bobby is a lucky boy, all right. They say that travel is the best teacher, and I think that's very true. Hmm. That's a nice thought. Hey, this trip is great. We were just saying that we're glad that you're with us. So do you like being an explorer? Mm-hmm. That's my boy. We'll all be going ashore tomorrow, Bobby, and we'll be really busy. Busy with experiments? Yes, of course. We are all going to take samples of plankton and then drill and analyze ancient ice cores, Bobby. Can I help with your work, Dad? Well, if it's all right with your mother. Please, can I help? Of course. But you'll have to go to bed early so you'll be sharp for tomorrow. Then you know I will. because then it wouldn't be paradise. Oh. You've got to be the strangest bird in the whole world, Pila Pila. What makes you say that? I didn't know birds could talk. Ha ha ha. I'll tell you, kid, there's a lot in this world you don't know, huh? Huh? Uh, uh. uh Bobby, I thought I heard voices. Uh, it's that bird. What? Are you trying to teach him some tricks? Uh-uh. He can talk. He can talk? Well, that's nice. <laughs> Say something for the captain. Show them that you can talk, Pila Pila. Pila Pila? <laughs> well, he certainly is noisy enough. <laughs> Please believe me. 
He can. Sure, he can talk. I believe you. Now go to bed now, Bobby. Good night. Now the captain thinks I'm nuts. But I was talking to you, wasn't I, Pila? Yeah, sure you are, Cat. Oh. The next morning, Bobby and the team of scientists landed on Antarctica. The team was very excited about this adventure. They quickly set up their equipment and began their experiments. Summer here was short, so they had to make the best of their time. Have them put the equipment over there, please. Bobby was happy to be back on land. He had thought that Antarctica would be all snow and ice, but he was finding plenty of things here to interest him. Hello, little penguins. My name is Bobby, and how are you today? Bobby, don't go too far. All right. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Penguins, you and I are going to be good friends, okay? Hours must have passed since the glacier they were on had broken up. When Bobby regained consciousness and looked around, there was no sign of his parents nor any of the others. Their ship had disappeared. Bobby found himself floating away on an iceberg, drifting with the ocean currents. He felt cold, afraid, and very alone. Bobby resigned himself to the fact that he would certainly drown or freeze to death in the ice flow. Suddenly, something remarkable happened. A strong current pushed him quickly toward the warm waters of the South Pacific. Bobby became so warm that he removed his heavy winter gear. As the hot sun melted his iceberg, Bobby began to see that a large pink sphere was frozen inside. When all the ice melted, Bobby rode the sphere into the tropical waters. For days and days, he was adrift on the high seas. And Bobby sailed a boat full of trouble, pirated by the scourge of the seven seas, Captain Sponge. What do you found, man? Like a school of dolphin for me to harpoon? Oh, that'd be nothing but a suffering bird of paradise, man. Like it's uh, too bad for him. I'm in such a foul mood. Ah, you sent my tail feathers. Oh, nasty Bob! Target practice always improves me bad temper. For me. Oh, oh. You're always grumbling. Lord Winston, I was just flying I in. know. This time, do you think you'll be able to abide by the laws of the island during your stay? I need a rest. I'm not looking to cause trouble. Come on, then. I'll take you the rest of the way to the island, Pila. Well, that's really nice of you, Lord Winston. I'm pooped. 
the same day that Pila Pila returned to Paradise Island, another visitor arrived. It was Bobby, floating on his giant pink globe. While Bobby was asleep, the speaking stones told of a magical creature that was going to come to the island. On the Cape Beach will soon be born the child of Neptune, the prophecies have sworn. Defender of the waves, protector of the sea, she will be named Serendipity. The fates had been kind, and when Bobby woke up, he discovered that he had safely washed ashore on beautiful Paradise Island. delicious. You like it? Yes, thank you. I was thirsty. Uh, uh, do you know where we are? We're at the beach. But do you know what beach? Huh? Sure, Paradise Island. Paradise Island. <laughs> do you know what this thing is, Pila? It saved my life when I was in the ocean. I don't know. It looks like a big egg to me. It's just a big egg. It's like the speaking stone said. It's their prophecy come true. Serendipity is here. Ah! What was that? Ah! 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 This thing's trying to open up. Huh? Thanks for helping me get out of there. Well, sure. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. It's prehistoric. It's a baby dinosaur.
The prophecies have come true. Serendipity was born this morning on the Cape Beach. It's all happened just as the oracles had predicted. My princess. Hey, where have you guys been? Pila Pila, do you need something from us? I just wanted to let you know that I talked with Lord Winston. You did? Princess Laura has called a meeting this morning. It's about you. <laughs> huh? There's a meeting about us? Don't get excited. I'm going to find out the details right now. Flood, but it's not raining, Bobby. Then how can you explain all that water coming at once? I know. Let's go investigate. Princess sad. Yikes! Better that you don't ask. She's so sad because of that boy. Huh? Hey, where are your manners? I didn't want to break into you like this, kid. I know it's kind of hard to take. But what happened? It's a long story. It all started with a meeting. Your Majesty, am I given to understand that you will not allow the boy to live on the island under any circumstances? Your Highness, you simply must reconsider. I know we've had some bad luck with humans, but Bobby is just a small boy, Your Highness. I think it's important to remember that he floated here on the very egg that brought us serendipity. Princess Laura has spoken and the royal decision cannot be questioned anymore. It's foolish. 
Oh. Excuse me, Your Majesty. I've always had nothing but the greatest respect for the way you've governed the island. You've always ruled wisely and kindly. But now I must disagree. Very well. If that is your decision, then I resign from my post. I cannot continue as your chief advisor when my advice on such an important matter is not considered. Please accept my resignation immediately. I can no longer do this important job. Princess Lara greatly values your friendship and respectfully requests that you reconsider your resignation. I'm afraid both our minds are made up. Serendipity? Yes? Will you please give me a ride to a nearby island? Bobby! I'm causing big problems living here. Subject alert! It looks like Serendipity and Bobby! They're leaving us! See? So they're leaving the island right now? Wait, Serendipity! Hello, Commander. Bobby has asked me to take him to a nearby island. Will you please allow us to go? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, you can't stay, Bobby. See you later, guys. He's a good kid. Yes, he's sure a responsible boy. He sure kept the island peaceful. Now, if Lord Winston would just do the same. Don't worry about Lord Winston. He always does the right thing. Yeah. Oh. Getting too hot? Yeah. Take a breath and then hang on. Sure. <gasps> the boy has already left the island. Do you still intend to resign? I must leave. Your contribution to the island has been very great, Lord Winston. I have been truly grateful for your help over the long years, Commander. Goodbye, Lord Winston, and may you return soon. And protect our island. Bye. Oh, goodbye. Farewell. We'll sure miss him. Diplomats are hard to find, huh? I wonder who will take his place now. I don't know. Ah, Pila Pila, you're instructed not to leave the island for any reason at all. Jaws, I'm just... Hey, come back here! Have a nice swim! All right, where did you guys go? You've got to be out there somewhere. Uh... <laughs> it's Captain Smudge! <sighs> Serendipity, Bobby! Huh? I'm glad I found you! Wait! Look, it's Pila! Is that 
Something's very wrong. I just saw him. He's north of here. You've got to help. You've got to help. Calm down, Pila. Okay, I'm coming down. I'm coming down. Stop flying, Pila. I'm coming down. I'm coming down. I'm coming now down. Tell us, Pila Pila, is someone in danger? Captain Smudge has caught Lord Winston in a net and he's trying to hard phone him. How awful. Help him, Serendipity, or he'll be killed. <laughs> Slimy fish, so that I can spear ya. You'll be exhausted soon enough. Hurry, 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 hurry! <laughs> Where's the boat? Bobby, can you swim on your own for a while? Sure. Serendipity for saving my life. Oh, I'm so very glad you're okay, Lord Winston. Hey, really? Smart. Yeah. Eat seaweed. Somebody help me! Me ship is a floundering. I'll be right back. Serendipity's heart is full of compassion. There's nothing wrong with that, but she should have let Smudge drown. It was an act of mercy. Oh. Was it? Thanks for saving both of us, Serendipity. Great job. Yeah, great. You saved my life, Serendipity. Thank goodness it's all over. Shall we continue on? A sea serpent? We must soon part company. I've enjoyed this time with you. Are you going back to Paradise Island, Lord Winston? He really needs you there. No, I'm afraid I won't be. I've resigned my post there in service of the princess. Then where will you go, Lord Winston? I have family nearby. It will be good to see them again. Finally. Oh. Oh, and how about you, Pila Pila? Have you not left the island for good this time or not? Still free as a bird to come and go as you please, huh? Well, have a good time. See ya! Bye, Pila! It won't be long before I see you guys again! Huh? Pila, what are you up to? Well, nothing. I just thought the princess should hear that serendipity saved your life. Sayonara! Hey, wait! It's back with the princess! Whoa, back here! It's all right. Let her go. What's this? I have an important message for you all, but listen carefully. The princess sends greetings. She invites you all to return to the island. But I resign. You are I... all given clemency. Has she changed her mind? The princess has received word of your heroic deeds against Captain Smudge and wants to reward you. She does? The princess also agrees to allow the boy to live on the island. Wow. This is incredible. 
This is certainly wonderful news for all of us, Bobby. It sure yeah. is, Winston. Shall I tell the princess that you plan to return to the island? We'll return at once. <laughs> Princess Laura, I have returned at your command. You have made a wise decision. You won't regret it. It pleases the princess to welcome you back to her court. It would also please her to meet serendipity in the boy Bobby. <laughs> Such a hurry. Serendipity, Bobby. I come to tell you that the princess wants to see both of you tomorrow morning at her palace. Really? That's right. You're very lucky. Audiences with Princess Laura are rare. Ah. I owe this to you, Serendipity. Don't be silly. Wait until the princess sees what a nice boy you are. I'm glad you're my good friend. Me too. Garu. My teacher, Professor Abraham, wanted me to invite you to a party he's having at his house tonight. Professor Abraham? That's right. He's the wisest man on the island, and he's very anxious to meet you two. Oh. But why does your professor want to see us? Well, to begin with, Professor Abraham is an expert on the study of strange species of life. Are we really so strange? The professor says that you and Bobby are the first of your kinds to visit the island. Wow. Do you think we should accept their kind invitation, Bobby? Yeah. He'll be so pleased.
Professor Abraham, here are your guests. Oh, I'm so happy you've chosen to come. Well, how do you do? Are you Bobby? Yes. Hello there, Professor. Well, Bobby, I wasn't far wrong in how I imagined you'd look. You understand I've never actually seen a human before. The only concept I had of you was from the data I've collected on your kind. And look at you, serendipity. You're beautiful. Thank you. The stone oracles of the island have spoken of you often, and because of them, you are named Serendipity. Yes, they gave me my name. You are the fulfillment of their prophecy that a strange unknown being would be born to protect the island. I know, but do you really think I'm so strange? You're wonderful. Furthermore, you're unique. I have reason to think that you may be the only being of your kind, but we'll have plenty of time to talk about these things. Please come into my house. I have some friends that I'd like you to meet. I'll catch him. It's agreed, Peel. It should be put on trial, then. Why do we need a trial? <laughs> Excuse me, everyone, but I would like to introduce our guests. Allow me to present our island's newest residents, Barbie and Serendipity. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. Minda, introduce yourself. I'm Professor Abram's daughter, Minda. I welcome you to our island. We have several illustrious community leaders here today. I want you to meet Judge Smell. Good to meet you. And Judge Smell is the island's authority on legal matters. The law here can be a very complicated issue sometimes, so we leave these matters up to him, you see. <laughs> the law doesn't seem complicated to me. I can understand that. You wrote all the laws. <laughs> this is Dr. Taylor. I am the director of the island's museum. Hello. Well, as it happens, we were just discussing a friend of yours. Pila Pila has gotten herself into some legal difficulties. And it seems that Pila Pila will have to appear before my court. Poor Pila Pila. I hope she's not in serious trouble. Don't worry, Bobby. The law here is very fair. And I'd like you to meet Yantro. I'm the chief of police. How do you do, Yantro? Don't be hard on Pila. That poor bird, he hasn't heard. They're going to burst his bubble. He's in trouble. Poor, poor bird. I love the way these flowers smell. Get her to the bubble to load her after a day. You've got to follow the rules. Play the game. Or you'll end up with a bone shake. Poor, poor bird. Pila, Pila, you are under arrest. Pila, you stand before this court today and an impartial jury of your peers to answer the charges against you. I suppose you're gonna tell me what the charges are. You have been charged with leaving the confines of this island on several occasions without permission. How do you plead? Those two monkeys in the jury wouldn't find their own mother innocent. How do you plead? Ah! I'm not guilty. She's, She's guilty! guilty. Order! Order! The jurors will refrain from convicting the defendant until the proper time. Proper time? The court will now hear the witnesses. Huh? Oh! They're making my friends testify against me! Bobby, both you and Serendipity are now under oath. It is against the laws of this island for anyone to leave without permission. Pila Pila may have broken this law. Oh. I don't think I exactly want the In view of the these island. charges, Pila, have you any defense to present? I point to my reputation, Your Honor. Very well. Then let's move on. What can we say? You got me. To your knowledge, are the charges against the prisoner Pila Pila all true? Have you ever seen her off the island? Yes. yes. Very 
Very well. The evidence in this case is so strong that we hardly need a jury verdict. I pronounce the defendant guilty as charged. Next time you want to leave the island, get a permit. Chain. I, you're not a bird. You'd never understand. But you'll be free in just ten more days. Now just be patient. Ten days? It might just as well be ten years. I want to fly. <laughs> I can't stand to be chained up. Oh. to be a jailbird. I should be sailing, gliding, winging through the air, not this. Uh, 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 uh. Maybe you'll feel better if you have some breakfast. Forget breakfast. I've decided that I'm going to escape and leave this island forever. Pila, you can't try to escape. I am. You can't stop me. Ah! Oh. There's nothing left to do but break out of jail. Stop! Oh. Don't try to interfere, guys. Oh. There's not a jail that can hold me or an island either. There. You know, these locks are pretty easy to pick. You just have to have the right touch and voila! Ooh. Oh! Ah. Where will you go? I'm free. I can go anywhere I want. But, Pila, you'll never be able to come back to the island. This is your home. My home is on the wind. I'm through with this island. There's no one here I ever want to see again. Present company excluded, of course. I'll miss you guys, but the world is my oyster and my public awaits. Tell everyone goodbye for me. Pila! Pila! She's gone. Do you think we'll ever see her again? Just one thing left to do. Drop by and tell my shark friends they can soak their heads. Halt! Pila, are you nuts? You're under confinement. Eat my dust, Hammerhead! Whoa! Why don't you go get your teeth clean? Pila's gonna get what's coming to her. Oh, oh, I'm tired. Oh, oh, ouch. Oh, it's harder to fly with this chain than I thought. Whoa, Nelly. Wow. Oh, don't go in there. Uh-oh. Up, up. Oh, no. Come on. Up, up. Oh. Ah. She's all right? Who knows? Bobby P is a strong flyer. Don't worry. It's almost dark. How will she know which way to fly? Maybe she'll be guided by a lucky star. Pacific. Oh, oh, I've got to stay up. Salt water's not good for my feathers. Land ho! This is my lucky day! Give me name, smudge, smudge. 
knowledge, that's me. I've had one too many, so steady me, runner. But any landlubber can see. I'm tough as a particle, mean and immorable. Whoa, Captain Smudge, that's me. out here. Long John, look what I found! This bird, it's aware in a chain made of solid gold! I know where it comes from, too. It's me mysterious island. They must have gold. They're stacked up like pig iron. <laughs> Hold still, ye canary! Take a look at this and tell me it ain't real gold. Now that's what I call fine gold. Probably 18 carats. Just like I said. I doubt you'll ever find that mystery island, oh smudge. Now of course I'll find it. I already know where it is. Oh no. Within the distance a bird can fly with a heavy gold chain. I've seen a lot of good sailors go crazy trying to find that island. I've seen a lot of ships sunk and a lot of swabbies that plane never made it back. I'd forget all about it if I were you, Smudge. You see, I've got an advantage. Well, I wouldn't count on that bird being much help to you. Ah, you think not, huh? Well, from me experience, that mystery island seems to protect its own. I think maybe me bowl will be pretty safe if I have this bird aboard. I think I know where to look for this mystery island, too. I've seen some pretty strange goings on on a certain part of the charts, like a pink sea serpent and storms that come up out of nowhere. That's where it is. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. I'm going to be rich. Rich beyond me wildest dreams. Rich enough to buy the biggest ship that ever sailed the seven seas. Rich enough to buy the seven seas if I want them. I'm going to find that island. <laughs> Prepare me boat and put the bird on board. I'm sailing out at first light. Oh, my! try to save her.
shame ye can't talk, ye pile of feathers. If ye could, ye'd sure tell me where the island is. But you're just a stupid bird, aren't ya? I better find it. Hey, and when I find the island, I'll be a rich man. I'll have a bounty of gold. I'll sail to port with as much gold as this ship can carry without sinking. Stay the course! <coughs> Stay sharp on ye post, matey. You're about to become the richest bird around. Oh, 
was it then? They're all from the mystery island. It's, 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 that's it. I finally got proof. I'm not just chasing a dream. It exists. It's real. <laughs> Over there is the library, and here is the museum where Dr. Taylor is the curator. Great. The university and law school buildings are all nearby. This part of the island is reserved for learning and education. Really so? This is where young Garoo Garoo takes his classes from Professor Abraham. That's exactly right! Neat stuff. Wow. Hello, Bobby. Hi, Dr. Taylor. I'm glad you're here, Bobby. There's something in the bag that maybe you can help explain. Where'd you get all this stuff? We've been collecting it for years. All these artifacts help us to understand human beings better. But sometimes we just can't figure out what they are. Like this, for instance. them because if you pet them they might blow up what's blow up explode like a volcano boom ah! so what are these bobby fireworks what's that you shoot fireworks into the air at night and they make beautiful patterns of colored lights huh volcanoes in the sky so tell us how do they work you point them at the sky light their fuses and then they will do the rest then it will be like a volcano? The sky is like a giant field of flowers with all the colors of a coral reef. These fireworks are marvelous. We want to see the fireworks. We want to see the fireworks. 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 Yay! Fireworks. Fireworks. Yay! Fireworks. If we are going to shoot off these fireworks, we're going to have to do it right. I have designed a launcher that the fireworks fit into. Each piece must be cut out of quarry stone to these exact specifications so that everything fits. All right, you got that? Yes, we understand. Just leave it to us. So, Bobby, I understand we're going to see a firework show. Huh? Bobby, the princess can talk whenever she wants to, but most of the time she lets the aquanauts do the talking for her. But how does she know already about the fireworks in the museum? She learned about it from the Aquanuts, of course. But perhaps we should ask her permission to have a fireworks display. Permission is granted. We all want to see the fireworks. Thanks! Everyone can hardly wait, Bobby. This is so exciting! Dr. Taylor, let's go ahead and load the fireworks. No time like the present. Hey, Bobby! Everybody's looking forward to seeing your fireworks. Why don't you hurry up? Everything will be ready, but we have to wait until it's dark. Who has the fire? I made the fire. I left it burning in Crab Cave. Great. I'll just go and get it. Right. Let's go ahead and load the other stands. Finally, the fireworks! Okay, let's try one, Bobby. I've never done this before. Come on, Bobby! Make it go! All right. But you'd better step back, Doctor, so that you'll be safe. Okay. It's supposed to make a loud noise. Bobby says that's part of the fun. Oh. All right. Is everybody ready? I'm going to light the fuse. Oh! For the belief. Aren't they great? Bobby, I can't wait. Light the next one. Light the next sure. one. Sure. Oh, oh, wonderful. Stupendous. Magnificent. 
cinch. What extraordinary things. It's so unlike humans to make something so beautiful. This is ruining all my theories about human nature. It really is a beautiful sight, isn't it, Your Majesty? A marvelous thing is human fireworks. I know they're beautiful, but at the same time they make me feel so frightened for some reason. I still greatly mistrust humans and human creations, and I'm afraid I always will. The humans are a powerful race, but as with these fireworks, sometimes their power can be used for good, Princess Laura. Perhaps Your Majesty would prefer to return indoors when the sight of the fireworks does not trouble her. Not now. Everyone seems to be enjoying the fireworks, and there's no reason to... Warning! The island is in danger! Warning! The island is in danger! Captain Smudge has seen the fireworks. He will follow the fireworks until he finds the island. Captain Smudge means the island harm. He must not be allowed to find it. The island stands in great peril. Warning! 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 Captain Smudge, how could we have been so foolish? Get the princess inside. Yes. The rocks are always right. Smudge is coming. <laughs> Smudge must have been prowling the area to find us. We'd all best get inside. I think you guys are right. Get inside! Oh, on your doors! Everyone is terrified the smudge will find out where the island is. We've got to do something. Halt! Who goes there? Just me! Hello, Nori. Have you been keeping your ears to the surface? Do you have any new information? Oh, yes. I've been following Captain Smudge's boat all day. He'll be here by tonight. By tonight? Yes. He seems to know our position, too. He's been preparing now to sail toward the island. Smudge! I'll wait till I get my jaws on him. There's no way my charts and compass can lie. Medlark now sets sail for Mystery Island. Aye, aye, Captain! And make it snappy. This time, nothing can stop me from finding the treasure. Her starboard, me matey! I'll soon be a rich man when I get me hands on the Mystery Island gold. <laughs> I think it would be prudent to evacuate the princess to another island. But we'll have to act quickly. Captain Smudge will be here very soon. And where can we take her that will be safe? There are some caves on a distant island. The palace guards are well acquainted with them and can take her there at once. You haven't asked me about this. Huh? I will not leave the island under any circumstances. What kind of princess would I be if I left my people behind to face this danger? Your Majesty's safety is supremely important to everyone on the island. Nevertheless, I understand your feelings. Perhaps there is another way to protect you. Yeah, does anyone have an idea how to stop Smudge? <laughs> Maybe we should give Captain Smudge another fireworks show. Huh? Uh -huh. Do you think Captain Smudge would follow the fireworks if we did them off the island? Yes, but there are no other islands that close by. Yes. That's it! I've got it! I know exactly how we can stop Smudge from discovering the island. Huh? Can you do it? Mm-hmm. You'll have to convince us first. Well, then, we'll give you every bit of help we can. Okay, the first thing we have to do is collect coconuts and driftwood. Now come 30 degrees starboard! Ah, ah! 30 degrees starboard! If we hold this course, we'll run aground on the Mystery Island by early tonight. Our mad lark is the dream come true of a seafaring man like myself to be rich with treasure. <laughs> hey, Bobby! Hi, 
Grunko? Bobby, I don't know what you plan to do with this, but I made what you asked for. Hmm. Wow. It's exactly what I wanted. You did a great job, Gronko. You're welcome. I hope it helps you. Now, let's set the fireworks stands on this raft and tie them down. Everyone, give us a hand. What are you doing? What are you doing? How is Bobby going to save the island? Excuse me, Bobby. You're going to be needing extra fuses, aren't you? That's right. Minda's making some for me. Bobby! Minda wanted me to bring you these fuses. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Pila. She made the fuses all different lengths. Is that okay? That's how I wanted them. It's part of the plan to stop Smudge. Okay. All right. Let's load the fireworks. And be careful with them, okay? Madlark, stay on course! Come starboard, 60 degrees! Ah, ah, Captain! The current's strongest if you head due south. You can let it go from there, sir, in the Thanks a lot. Take care! Keep an eye out for the current. I'm coming too, Bobby! Pale, what are you doing here? I want to see the look on Captain Smudge's eye when you beat him. Aren't you going to sink his ship with these fireworks? What a great plan! Any moment now, we'll see me, Mystery Island. We'd better hurry, though, because it'll be getting dark soon. Mad Larkin, how will you be spending your treasure? You can buy some bird seed. It's right up ahead. Thanks, Pila Pila. When we get there, we can untie the raft and let it go into the stream. What? But the fireworks will drift off into the ocean. That's exactly what we want, as long as it drifts away from the island. Oh, look, Bobby, there it is. Let's stop here, Serendipity, so we can get ready. This current's moving like a river. Well, guys, shall we give Smudge his present? Yes. There's one! 
We've still got a ways to go. Let's have some speed. It's all ahead full. Aye! That's the last one. Do you think it worked? I'm sure it did. This much won't bother us. Never found anything out there but trouble. I've seen their fireworks, and I've seen their pink sea serpent, and I've seen that bird with a gold chain. There is treasure out there. Oh. Now you take heart, Long John. Medlark and I are going right back out to find that island. Oh, 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 he's just a little tired. Take him and give him some food, will you, Long John? Thanks a lot. You'd better go and get some food and rest yourself, Smudge. I feel all right, Long John. I've got some work to do on the boat. Got to get ready to go back out. All right, Smudge. I guess you know your own mind. The princess wishes to take a short tour of the islands. Uh, serendipity, will you go with her to protect her? Come in, are you going too? Yes, of course I am. Yeah. You don't mind staying behind, Bobby? You've got work to do. Take care, Serendipity. Thanks. Goodbye. Bye. She'll be all right. The princess is being protected by serendipity, and you can't get very much safer than that. Warning! Warning! The island See, is in danger! The, the island is, the is in danger! In danger! I just met you! Be Hi. quiet! Bobby. Smudge is coming! Captain Smudge is coming! He means the island harm! He will not be deterred! Smudge is coming to the island! Warning! Warning! Smudge is coming to the island! Danger exists for the island! Smudge is coming! What can we do? Let's go ask Mayor Walrus. He'll know what to do. Hey, that's a good idea. Walrus! Walrus, have you heard the prophecies of the stones? The thing to do now is not to panic. How can you be so confident? Neptune always protects the island from any intruders. He'll throw Smudge off course with a storm of some kind. What? Goodness! Hey! Captain Smudge has been spotted. He's already inside of the island. This is terrible. Serendipity isn't here either. The island's in great danger. Yeah, it's true. We have very few defenses left, and we'll have to think of something now. If Lord Winston were here, he'd think of something. We need an idea. Yes, but first we need to find more information, Pila Pila. I'll have a look. And the sharks will continue to set up their defense in the sea. Very well. So long. Walrus, will Neptune Storm try to sink Captain Smudge's ship? It won't ship? be the first ship to be lost on the outer rocks of the island. What about Smudge? He could be hurt. Uh, there's really no other way to stop him at this late hour. Captain Smudge's fate lies in the hands of Neptune. He's a seafaring man, and he knows the risk that he takes when he confronts the sea. <laughs> There's a fog ahead. The seas are getting rough. Rough seas! Oh, oh, oh. How'd the storm come out of nowhere? These sort of things only happen when I get near the island. It's strange, I tell you, strange. Oh. And now the hatches are going on. Keep her steady. Hold your course. Watch out for the rocks. Come ahead, you citizens of 
can't keep me from the treasure! <laughs> Smudge, he could have turned back. He's just too greedy. Well, at least the island's safe again. That was a pretty close call. Whoa! What is it? Quick, Bobby, look over there. It's Captain Smudge. <sighs> look, he's alive. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Shh. Let's hide and watch him. We'll see what he wants. Looks like I'm alive, huh? So that's what hit me. This island's caused me enough problems. Now it's gonna start paying me back in gold. Well, so that's it, huh? The time has finally come to start me treasure hunt. Oh no, Bobby, what are we gonna do now? Pila, I want you to stay here and keep your eye on Captain Smudge. What? Shh! You can watch him without being noticed. I'll go and report this to Mayor Walrus, okay? Well, if that's what you want. Good luck, Pila. Hurry back! What? Smudge is alive on the island! Yes. Where's Serendipity? Uh, we all know Serendipity's not here, and we're just going to have to wait until she and the princess return. Uh, we can't wait. And by the time they get back to the island, the damage will be done. Help! Help! Everybody run! I'm the first to ever come here. I can't believe it. Now all I've got to do is find out where they keep the gold. Ah, this is tragic. They leave us in charge of the island for two days and we lose it. Bobby, you're good with plans. Can't you think of something? I've been trying, but I just haven't thought of anything yet. Well, keep at it, son. Bobby! Yes, Pila Pila? Smudge is traveling up the river, exploring! So he's away from the shore for a while? Right! Hmm. That's it. Mm, that's strange. It's awfully quiet here. Mmm, it smells great out here. And too bad I'm not a lily-livered nature lover. Flowers are for land lovers, sissies, not a seafaring man like myself. Still, these flowers remind me of something, like they were a clue of some kind. Now I know where I've smelled these flowers before. <laughs> they smell just like that bird. I'm the first to ever come here. I can't believe it. Now all I've got to do is find out where they keep the gold. Ah, this is tragic. They leave us in charge of the island for two days and we lose it. Bobby, you're good with plans. Can't you think of something? I've been trying, but I just haven't thought of anything yet. Well, keep at it, son. Bobby! Yes, Pila Pila? Smudge is traveling up the river, exploring! So he's away from the shore for a while? Right! Hmm. That's it. Mm, that's strange. It's awfully quiet here. Mmm, it smells great out here. And too bad I'm not a lily-livered nature lover. Flowers are for land lovers, sissies, not a seafaring man like myself. Still, these flowers remind me of something, like they were a clue of some kind. Now I know where I've smelled these flowers before. <laughs> they smell just like that bird. <laughs> That's it! There's no doubt now that I found me Mystery Island! <laughs> That's right, mateys. And me only interest in paradise is money. Lots of money. <laughs>
Did somebody say something? No one there. And maybe it was me imagination. I got to stay calm to get me treasure. And the first thing to do is to get me boat fixed. Oh. Then I'll round up me treasure, get to work loading it on the boat, and leave this frilly paradise and head back to port where I belong. I can't wait to see the look on Long John's face. This is a very fine hole, and with a little bit of luck, we'll catch old Captain Smudge. This is a very fine pit, and with a little bit of luck, this'll be it for old Captain Smudge. Ooh boy, this boy had better catch Captain Smudge, cause if we fail and we don't nail him, he's gonna hold a grudge. Gotta catch Captain Smudge! Do you think it will work? Sure. Marley! Huh? I just saw Smudge. He's headed this way. Then everybody take their positions. All right. Hey, good luck, Bobby. Hey, Bobby, don't you think you'd better get going, too? He's coming. He'll see you. There he is now. Huh? Run! He's going to see you. There's still time. Get going. Well, I'm going. I'm sure I heard voices this time. What? Uh, it's that dark kid. Stay right where you are, kid. You've got a lot of explaining to do. I've got you, and now you can tell me where the treasure is. <laughs> Don't move! Oh, watch out! Oh. Now tell me, son. Ah. Oh. What's going on? Pull it! We did it! Yippee! We did it! Pull the rope and make it snappy! I can't move. I'm, I'm afraid. afraid. It's Captain it's Smudge. Hey, kid! Captain Smudge. What are you gonna do with me, kid? The princess has returned. Princess Laura has returned. She's come back to Paradise Island. Yippee! She's back! Yippee! Who's out there with you, kid? Hey, break down or we'll throw you in the lagoon, you big blowhard! Hey! Who's talking to me like that? I won't get you! And you really won't throw me in the lagoon, will ya? I have heard the story of how Bobby and the rest of you saved the island from Captain Smudge. Bobby will be honored as a hero of the island for his skill and bravery in dealing with this terrible man who means harm to our peaceful island. What shall we do with Smudge, huh? And this island must be protected from this man. Mm-hmm. Let's throw the creep in the lagoon. That's where he belongs. No, we're not going to do that. The bottom of the ocean might be a good place to keep him, huh? No, I won't allow that either. Princess, we have to deal with this man. Serendipity, please tell me what to do. All right, if I were you, I would send the captain back to his home where he belongs. Huh? Is that what you intended to do? Uh-huh. What are you gonna do with me? You wouldn't dump me in the ocean, would you? Where are you taking me? This is me, ain't it? I recognize the sound of the SS Quagmire anywhere. Just hold this course and you'll get to 
get back to port. All right, kid, fun soldier. Stop fooling around and let me out of this bag. Back to port! Back to port! All right, look, what if I promise to leave this island alone? I mean, there are lots of other islands with treasure, right? Ruby Ranch! Ruby Ranch! What is this? Uh, is this me night? Oh, what a relief. I was just kidding about that promise, boy! Shall we go? Yeah, let's go home. Bobby knew that he could have sailed back to land with Smudge on the SS Quagmire, but the thought hardly crossed his mind. His home now was here on Paradise Island with his friend Serendipity and the others. Bobby loved Serendipity and his new friends so much that he decided to make Paradise Island his home forever and ever. What's little on top and big in the middle and pink all over? My friend Sarah.